I'm gonna start this off and say, love is not what scares us. Loneliness hurts us. Rejection hurts. Losing someone hurts. Envy hurts. Everyone gets these things confused with love, even me, myself included. Love is the only thing in this world that covers up all the pain and makes someone feel wonderful again. And that's the truth. I think that's the harsh truth, is that love is the most selfless, easiest thing to give, you know, especially if you love yourself. Out of everything in the world, love is the only thing that doesn't hurt. Love is not meant to hurt. Love is to feel free, at ease, you know, anxious, you know, excitement, like, but, now love is different. I find myself associating love with abandonment. You know, every person that ever told me they love me actually left, did me wrong, or, you know. So then, you know, love wasn't something that I sought after. But then someone was like, you know, how can you give off love and not accept love? It's like, because I know what love is. I know what I want love to be. I know what I meant to do in people's lives or what I meant to affect people's lives. And, and I do it so selflessly that that's love. I don't want nothing in return, except maybe even more for you than you want for yourself. I feel like that's the real thing of love. You gotta find that nowadays. You're not gonna find that always. And I really feel like that means a lot. I really feel like that's one of the biggest, most massive platforms is like really giving out and not wanting anything in return just to see someone happy or to make someone at ease or, you know, just giving the person a home cooked meal. You know, that's, that's love for me, you know? That's just one of the simplest forms of it. I found myself trying to, trying to prove my love to people by staying in bad relationships. I figured if I've been loyal to you, if I figured if I've been loyal to you enough, that you'd be like, yeah, nah, he, he has to love me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like he's holding on so tight to me that he's gonna, He's gonna fight for me, he's gonna do whatever he needs to do for me just to make sure I'm happy, just to make sure I'm, you know, that's what I believed in. I believe staying in a bad situation just to show somebody that I really care. And no matter how much you might love somebody, they just might not be for you. If they're not getting it, trying to be better, trying to change their ways, you don't need to have to keep repeating yourself. That's not love. Like, yeah, love, you know, one thing I do, I do feel is that you don't fall into love, you grow into love. You know, love is not something that just happens out of the blue. You learn the person, you learn their faults. You learn the good things, you learn the bad things. You learn what you tolerate and what you're not gonna tolerate. I feel like you grow into love. Love is something that happens over time and continuously happens. You know, like, you know, as a woman that has a baby inside of her stomach, she doesn't love the child automatically. It grows. She creates a bond with it over the time, months or months. The sick mornings, you know, the she has the nasty parts, you know, and, you know, the morning sickness, you know, not wanting to eat this, you know, pickles and, 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 and peanut butter, some weird combination. It's not always peaches and cream, but then it's those days where you just have that, that in sync moment where it's like, damn, all this struggle, all this heartache, all this, all this tough situations, the labor, the pushing, the, <laughs> the breathing, everything. Until you push that baby out, it's like, it was all worth it. And I'm glad I stuck with it. That's. That's the process of love. Love is not overnight. Love is like growing a beard. You gotta respect it. You gotta, you gotta work with it. And it's gonna happen. Just how? Are you gonna give up when things get tough? You gotta ask yourself that. I used to associate love with loving broken women. Cause I knew I was a broken man. So I felt like we put our pieces together, we could make the perfect puzzle. You know, sometimes that could work. Some situations that could work. But it didn't always work. You know, it wasn't always good. And and I found that to be hard, I found that to be true. You know, and through this process, I found out who I was and who I wanted to be for myself. And I was trying to push so much on that of a woman to make myself happy that I wasn't happy myself. And until I found my own happiness, you know, I couldn't do that for anyone else. And I thank God that I, you know, I came to a point where it was easier for me to, to see that and deal with that. But, Love is the best thing that can happen to us. Love keeps the world alive. When you love a plant, it grows. You know, when you love your child, it grows. It grows up to what you want it to be, to what you hope for it to be. You know, you nurture, when you, when you put your foot into something, when you, when, you, when you cook in that meal that you want the family to love and all that. When you give out a certain type of energy, you get that energy back. Give out what you want. Give out what you expect to receive. 
Love is the only thing in the world that keeps us going around. You know, it's all this hate, all this competition, whether it's ethnicity competition, whether it's financial competition, whether it's, I mean, that's, that's life, you know. That's concrete jungle for you. New York, y'all know what I'm talking about. Whether it's from Florida, Detroit, whether it's from Cali, you guys know what I'm talking about. But however, love is the only thing that don't hurt. You might experience something by searching for love, but but love don't hurt. I call it jam fingers, broken this, broken that for basketball. You know, pursuing basketball, you probably gonna be like, yo, basketball hurts. Nah. The pursuit of basketball, it, it makes the journey so much more, more worth it. You know, getting past those tough times, getting past those jam fingers, getting past those cuts in your eye, getting past all that. Just to see that ball go. It makes it all worth it. Love is not what scares us. We scare ourselves at the idea that we won't find love in search of love.